Well, because of the travel ban, uh, obviously all of our borders were closed to, to non-essential travel and uh, our foreign workers are very much needed and so we've been, we've been waiting for them. Uh, the crop is ready to harvest. Um, we're harving, harvesting it now, but it's going to come on very strong, especially as the days get longer, more sunshine. And so as it comes on very strong, we're going to need a whole lot more people to harvest and hopefully these people arrive very soon. Uh, the entire province I know, in fact probably the entire country is waiting for the workers. Well, I'm not sure how many we have right now, but, but for sure uh, we're, we're still waiting for, a, for at least 140 more workers over the next month or maybe six weeks. And that would be a normal increase? That, that's a normal year. year. Yeah, that's, that's what we had expected. Uh, what does the, if there is a delay, what does that cost you? What, what happens? Well, in money, I can't even put a number on it today. Uh, we could certainly figure that out. But, but in terms of the crop, um, you know, when, it, when, when food is ready to harvest, it has to be harvested. Otherwise, it starts to go bad very quickly. And if it starts to go bad uh, on the plant, then obviously you have, you have potential for diseases, potential for all kinds of problems. Uh, so there's a financial risk, but there's also a much bigger long-term crop damage that would affect uh, the entire of this year. And we're selling everything that we grow very quickly right now, uh, obviously because of uh, so many restaurants being closed and only takeout being available. Uh, a lot more people doing their shopping at grocery stores, a lot more people cooking, uh, which I personally think is wonderful in a lot of different ways. But at the same time, uh, there's a huge demand for the product right now, and it would be a shame if we were not able to harvest it in an efficient, timely manner.